Hi, in this video I am going to show you how to program your Pixop flight controller for your Hexacopter quadcopter or octocopter drone. Here I am using my Hexacopter drone to give you a demo. Connect a USB cable with your laptop and other end with a flight controller. Then open the missile drive software, check your port where the cable is connected and then click on the connect icon. Then go to the initial setup, disconnect your flight controller by the connect icon and then go to the option of install from WAN legacy and follow the steps as shown in this video. After the firmware is uploaded, disconnect the USB and connect the telemetry. If you are not having the telemetry, then do the upcoming setup with the USB. We require a power source since we are not providing a power with our USB. After connecting, go to the initial setup, then on the mandatory hardware. Select your frame type and then go to the accelerometer calibration and do the accelerometer calibration as shown in this video and follow the instruction. After doing accelerometer calibration, go to the compass calibration option, reboot your flight controller with the reboot button placed in a missile plant software and then click on the start option. Rotate your drone as shown in this video. On your transmitter and do the radio calibration. During the radio calibration, move all the sticks of your transmitter to the maximum extent and after recording the maximum value, put them in the mid value, except the throttle. After doing this, click on the click vendor option and wait until it saves it. Now
How is the time to set up the flight modes? We are using here channel number 5 mean switch C for setting up our flight modes. You can choose your flight modes as you required and then click on the save modes. After this, click on the fail safe. If you are using a power module, then apply the battery fail safe. If you are not using the power module, then only use the radio fail safe. If you are using a GPS, you can have the option of return to launch. If you are not using the GPS, you have to put the option of enabled always land. The F PWM decides at what value your radio failsafe will execute it. If your drone lost the radio signals, then the signal value will go up to 0 or less than the 1000 and then the radio failsafe will be executed. Now click on the disconnect option of the mission plan software. After doing the throttle ESC calibration, your drone is ready to fly. Hope you all loved the video. Thank you for watching.